welcome to episode 42 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. Let's shuffle over to the transfers because Posh Cutsy is about to give us one hell of a headache. Hello there, Posh Gadsy here. How are you doing? I'm absolutely marvellous and even richer than before because I received a bag of money from a Waitrose car park. In return, we need to sign up the worst free agent possible. I don't know, it might be a family relative, it might be someone who doesn't want Stockport to do well. I don't care, I I'm taking this bag of money, so sign him up, play him this episode. I'm out of here, goodbye. Toodles! The owner of our club has been bribed. This is Farouk Hosawi, the worst free agent out there. He's a striker. He's about 40 overall. He's got the long passer CPU AI trait. Oh, marvelous. Defending is 2 to 12. 2 to 12. Oh my god. Is he even good enough to have an agent? Really? <laughs> now, we've seen some really terrible players become quite good in youth squad legends because you know they perform well above their overall i don't think we'll see that from farouk he wants 1100 pounds a week in wages are you joking me shambolic you know if this price rating is an a just leave it out please please leave it out this guy is worth negative money the man who suggested this in my discord has a lot to answer for we're going into the busy christmas period and i have to put that up front mate just believe he's gonna be really good bit of rest and recovery for Jang Sung Chan, he's having the game off. Buster Man say he's back. Oh boy, Stockport County against Reading. But what if he's like really good? This is gonna be like the early reign of pain, but like quadrupled. The slowish turn by Red and Strand. Slow to pass it as well. Socrates offside. The other boys have to perform here. Like, we've got a disadvantage taking Jang Sung Chan out the lineup. Never mind what's happening up front. Oh, what a ball that is. Cavallaro out quick. Red Zeppi. Oh, it's Hasawi because Red and Strand can't move. The 40 overall player has our first shot after 35 minutes. Reading have nearly been as bad as Charlton, but we've just not been able to get the passes right. Hasawi long shot. Oh, <laughs> the goalkeeper's just flopped it. It's dropped to Socrates. I don't know how we've done it. I'll tell you what, when an unknown 40 overall free agent is having a more profound effect than your Swedish striker, you know, something, something is very much up there. Finisher or no finisher, Reddenstrand needs to pull his finger out. Playing safe football with a man that simply can't play football. Out wide you go to Socrates and to the left back Kavalchik Hasawi into Aquilina. And now we're motoring along. We finally get it into Reddenstrand who moves it onto Socrates. And Reddenstrand Hasawi. We're playing some brilliant football here, boys. Cabasau off the line. Socrates just about. Red Zeppi with a turn that gets us into half time. Edgley Park really seeing some uh, a League One quality football. Come on, Red and Strand. A much better start to the second half. He sends that one across goal slightly wide. There's the uh, goal decision system on Cabasau. A very comfortable stop on the line. There's an interception. Red Zeppi wins it up high. But who's there for him? Absolutely bloody no one. Get into the box! Jesus! Let's find that top corner, son! Oh, dude! Over the wall. Not enough power behind it to be troubling that Reading goalkeeper. We got Burnley next. That'll be a much more difficult proposition. Much better half this by Redden Strand. Oh, set it up! It's Hasawi with the worst first touch in the world, but a shot that got on target, all right? My guy doesn't really need to play all 90 minutes. It's 73rd minute. We're going to ensure the victory by bringing on Juicy John. Don't you dare concede. Anderson was not offside. Aiken might have used an arm, and this is a dangerous free kick for Reddin. Ball's coming in, and I've been <laughs> auto-switched. Cavallaro gets me out of trouble. That's a good save, lad. Corner kick, auto-switching <laughs> happening again. Can we stop with the auto-switching? Please, <laughs> please catch it. Okay, Cavallaro. The Dross 40 overall free agent has had more of an impact on this game than Patrick Reddenstrand. Something is wrong. Something's not wrong with Cabasau, who's flying into the box, wanting his second goal of the season. 
I mean, that was a proper right back effort. Socrates heads out. The goalkeeper was up for the corner kick. We can't get the ball though. Kamara oh. trying to do some skills. A lovely save. Reactions by Cavallaro. Goalkeeper's up again, and this will be the final action of the match. I've slightly brought the goalkeeper out. It's Socrates Alves with the head off. And any better quality from our opponents and we probably lose that match, but Reading are atrocious. Aquilina looks to be moving to Atletico Madrid. 4.3 million they've offered. Could have been negotiated up to six, but I'm not bothered. It really hasn't pulled up any sort of trees. I'd much rather have the egg, Mr. Turner, in that position in the central midfield alongside Jang Sung Chan. Hitman and the egg, some really good nicknames, but we had to go for egg just because it means Santiago was kind of foreshadowing this. He can see into the future, our Santiago. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Eggs, 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 eggs. Eggs, 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 eggs. To try and reduce the impact on the uh, side, I think we're going to put Asawi on the wing and just try and play around him as much as possible. Because this one, I think, is going to be a little bit more challenging than Reading. Stockport against Burnley. There'll be a lot of left-hand side by OCR, and it might be a good thing because Socrates is in the form of his life. Look at Franklin go! Can't finish. Oh, we are all over Burnley. Come on! Duda, back to the keeper, no problems, everything's calm in defence. We have really picked it up a level in that department. Turner is having a wonderful time of it. I think Franklin might be offside, he's going to go try and run the keeper, but the flag is raised. Get on it, Socrates, you're onside! Finish that! Socrates in form in the goals. 1 0 Stockport. Stingy Stockport having an absolute wonderful time of it. Edgley Parker ups. I have seen murmurings of people telling me to turn up the difficulty, which is honestly hilarious with the troubles that we've had to face through the series. Why can't you just be happy when we're winning games? <laughs> What a save, lad. Jang Sung Chan steals away. Juicy John is bursting her gut to get into the right spot. Oh, half time. We're banging for many of the problems that we had at the start of the season. We've removed from the team. There's more movement up front. Cavallaro's not making as many mistakes because the defense are forcing the opponents to shoot from long range. It's just working. It's working right now. It's a bit boring going down the left all the time, but... Needs must in this situation. And Dada Buster Mante uses Turner. Always a player open here for Stockport. Not the greatest of passes by Socrates. But pressure is on great press. And Socrates will lay it back. Franklin. Now Hilda hits the crossbar. Might keep it in play. Oh, Fosu Mensa, you lucky boy. He tried to keep it in. And it just flicked off Helder for a goal kick. Moments away from another stingy Stockport masterclass. There's Gomez getting a foot in. Cabasau. Oh, brilliant by Cabasau. Rides the tackle and slows down the play for the Stockport free kick. Touch. Oh, Socrates! That would have been brilliant. Seconds remain in this game. I don't think Burnley have the time to get it back upfield. It skinned the side net in there. What a goal that would have been. He sent the defender into a different dimension with that first touch. Blow for full time, Chief. 1-0 Stockport. You've heard that a lot of times. It feels good today. Burnley are a decent side in this division. We only had, what, three players up front, let's be honest. And not only have we done the business, but we look good doing it. 56% possession, 11 shots. This amazing run of clean sheets might continue. Blancard Thompson up front for Sunderland. Not in the best peak fitness. They do have a five-man defense themselves. So really, is there going to be any other result than a nil-nil. It's Sunderland against Stockport. Once again, Cabasau deciding not to be a right back. A pointed back, Asawi! That's not actually a bad shot. An amazing save has stopped him from scoring in the championship. Over the top, Stoikovic has got this one right. 
It's a Sawi, and he, he's got to turn and pace the lad. Finish! No, over the bar. Knuckle ball, Red Zeppi. Knuckle ball into Dada Bustamante. It's the easiest of finishes there for Pegararo in the right place. Stingy stock port at it again. They'll do anything for a goal. They'll make the goalkeeper sweat. They'll force them into mistakes. Pegararo there for the easiest of his entire career. Four up here in the Sunderland attack. Pritchard! Well, it was going to take something very special for us to concede today. The jump over the ball was super confusing. That finish, extravagant. Excellent. Cavallaro's got no chance. Referee has called it and there's no perfect episode here as Sunderland with that magical finish. Rabel to grab a point. Is that a new problem rising up? The fact that we can only seemingly score one goal per game. Home side way better in the second half. Got well into the game at the end. Nine shots to ten. When was the last time that we tasted defeat in the championship? 1-0 loss against Burnley that we've just recently avenged. It's been a long old time. That's just creeping us ever closer to the playoff picture. Stockport now in eighth place. And we are one point behind Bristol City. Jesmond Aquilina has been sold to Atletico Madrid for £4.3 million. Apparently a bad negotiation. I don't care. It's money for a player that I don't really want to play. Tell you what we haven't done in a while. Some chant creation. Franklin is begging for one. Socrates is begging for one. So tell me down in the comment section your ideas for chants and... I might make them come true. Can we end the episode in the playoff spots? We will have to beat Swansea City. They're not having a great season. I think they're about 17th place. So it should be a home win. Come on, lads. Socrates! Ooh! On target. Bender forced into the uh, near post save. The further on we go in this series, the more this guy's having a profound effect on how we're playing football. Excellent! Absolutely excellent by Socrates that deserved a goal at the end of it. Juicy John looks up. It's Socrates in the middle that's not going to win that ball. Turner just about climbs on top of the uh, Swansea City player, Jang Sung Chan, into Socrates Alves. Realise Jang Sung Chan still has the uh, captain's armband on. His first games of captaincy were very shaky, but since then, we've just not lost. We've just forgot how to lose games, and I think if there's a goal in this match, it's coming for the home side. Go on, Pegararo. Try and get through the middle. I don't know how he's kept the ball. Pegararo! Oh! So come on, Pegararo! Give me some limbs for the Italiano. Where's the limbs? How about that from Giuseppe Pegararo? Nah, man, that goal, the way that it hit the underside of the crossbar, that deserved limbs. Swansea City have equalised, though. That's got limbs going. There's a little bit of a mix-up there in defence. I've got to be honest with you, Swansea City probably deserve to draw. Absolutely devastating. What's gone on? So the number 13 is probably Zubair. It's come off, and it's given the opportunity for the uh, assist maker to just drop it back to Cullen. Shoot it into an open net. Well, if there is another goal in this, it is guaranteed limbs, isn't it? Socrates pushing forward. It's not the right time to be doing a knuckleball corner. Try and get it to Pegororo. He's onside. Oh! oh! <laughs> yes! Yes, indeed. He does the Alan Shearer celebration with the one arm up. And now we can properly do the chant because there's limbs about. So come on, Pegararo. Stock for Italiano. We go wild, wild, wild. Socrates makes the goal with the pass inside. He was onside because I think one of the uh, wing backs was playing him on. Oh boy, what a moment. Right at the end of the game. Oh, it's the season of limbs, mate. Stockport 2. Swansea City won the winner with the last kick of the game. I don't think it's deserved. Darling shaking his head. He was fantastic in that defence. Swansea City tried their utmost. Pegararo had the answer today. That final goal has ensured a sixth place finish 
for the end of this episode. Can we keep this good form up? Is it too much to ask? This has been Gutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you've not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications so you never miss an upload again. Big thanks to everybody on the right-hand side supporting me financially on Patreon. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this full-time. Much love. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.